I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on composition of functions. We need to sketch the graph and write domain range for f of x equals to 8 over 1 plus half to the power of x. So basically we have two types of functions here. Let's say numerator n of x is given to us as 8 and the denominator d of x is given to us as a function 1 plus half to the power of x. And what are we trying to do? We are trying to find another function f of x which is numerator divided by the denominator. So that is the kind of combination of function we are actually dealing with. <clears throat> now as far as the domain is concerned there are no restrictions at all since the denominator is always positive and greater than 1. Correct? Half to the power of x. Well, let us sketch them. So let me sketch these functions. So what we will do here is we will sketch uh, first these two. So when I say the numerator is 8, that means it's kind of like this. Let's say this is 8, right? So, so this is the graph for the numerator. Let me write n of x over just 8. Now the other function which is uh, denominator part, I am doing just the denominator part, not as 1 over, right? 1 plus half x. So it is kind of a decaying function, kind of like this, where the value here will, horizontal asymptote will be 1, right? And this point is going to be at 2. So these are the two functions and when we divide one by the other, we get f of x. Which is 8 over this. So what we notice here, that if I try to sketch, uh, if I take some values, let's take some values. Now, if I take and let's say 8 divided by 1 plus half to the power of x. So, if I take a value of x as 0, then it becomes 8 divided by anything to the power 0 is 1. So, it gives me 4. So, at 0, what we get is, is 4. Now, if I have a value of x which is infinitely large, so x is approaching infinitely large, in that case what happens? In that case, 1 over half to the power of x approaches 0. So we get this as 8 divided by 1. So it is approaching 8. Correct? So, so that means we do have a horizontal asymptote at 8. So what we see here is that the function is approaching 8, kind of like this. But it will never touch it. And if we have a value of x approaching negative infinity, in that case, half to the power of x approaches a large value, right? You can see, large value, uh, approaching infinity. That means 8 divided by 1 plus half to the power of x will approach 0. Correct? So the, the other asymptote is going to be approaching 0. So the function could now be sketched kind of like this. If you put in more values, this is what we are going to get. So now from the diagram, you can clearly see the range of the function, right? So that becomes the function itself. So it is approaching 8. So we can write down the, the sketch is right there. And now we can write the answer. And that is that the domain of f of x is x belongs to real numbers and the range 
of f of x is y belongs to real numbers. However, y is greater than 0 and less than 8. Correct? So that is how you could actually answer such questions. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.